Today I'm trying to show you how to put uh, resolutions fixed to the prototype 1 game and also reshade. So, first of all, there is link in the descriptions, which is in this, and it's gonna take you to this side. White screen games fix whatever. <laughs> What widescreen gaming forum? Yeah, forum. Oh, it was forum. Never mind. Anyway, you gonna uh, see this thing here. It's kind of shows you how it looks different, as you probably already figured that out. And uh, over here is the link in the below the attachment. Just click on that one, and uh, as you can see, I already down downloaded. I don't want to download it again. It's right here. It's very, very simple. You just need to go wherever your prototype um, game folder is. In me, or in my case, it's right in here. Steam, Steam apps, common prototype, and so on. So, you use WinRAR or some else, WinChip probably. I don't know. Open this one. Not that one. And uh, choose whatever you want. In every case, it's all resolutions, which is already your native resolution. Only thing that it changes is field of view. I'm using the little bit higher than normal, so I'm gonna choose this one. Then I'm gonna just drag and drop it right there. Move and replace if you need to. It's this one. Okay, that's that. Next time you're opening your game, uh, it should use your native resolution. You don't need to even uh, touch that. And for the reshade then, I'm gonna provide this um, link right here in the description again. It can show you this screen right here. You can download it from here, or go way down and download it from here. It kind of shows you down here what's the version right now. I already did that as well. As you can see, it's right here. It's exe file. It's totally not virus or anything, so it's totally safe to use. Just double click it. Oh. And uh, run. Okay, now it asks you exe file of any game ever. So in this case, it's in it's that one. So select the game, and in my case, it's here in E. And games, Steam, Steam apps, common, and we need to find prototype. Right there. And it already shows you the exe file. Open. Need to wait a little while. Oh, never mind, we don't. Uh, select rendering API. So, at this point, whatever game you're installing this to, you need to know um, what DirectX uh, game is using. DirectX 9, 10, or 10 plus, it is 11, 12, whatever. OpenGL, I'm not really sure what that's for. But for some different games, but in this case, just use, I mean, choose uh, DirectX 9. And now it asks you, do you want or download all the effects or just some effects. I usually want them all, so go on. It's usually pretty fast. Oh, now it asks you, what do you prefer? I'm just gonna take everything. And it's done. And you can just close this window right here, and it's installed. And uh, next thing we need to check is in the game. 
I'm gonna launch it straight from here. Okay, here we go. As you can maybe saw in the top left corner, there was a press home to get actually use this software. It goes pretty fast. Maybe you didn't see that. I'm gonna show it right now. If there's a little lag on the beginning of the, I mean, beginning of the launching of the game, there's no need to worry about. It's totally normal, it just applies all the effects we have put on. So we can't see anything different yet, except the field of view, which was the widescreen thing we applied. Okay, now you need to press your home key. It's on your keyboard, I hope. And it show damn game. Game already wants me to do stuff. <laughs> okay, home key. And uh, yeah, continue. And there's little plus icon. You can write here whatever you want. Prototype and press enter. And we are good to go. And there's all the effects we can apply now. During the game is running on the background, which helps really, really much. For example, let's see. Let's press continue there. And uh, adaptive sharpen, for example. As you can see, maybe. A little bit sharper in the on the Im image. However you prefer. Or curves. This is kind of um, like contrast. Yeah, contrast reads right there. Again, however you prefer. And there's tons of options you can choose to mess around with. One I like the m one of the most I like is saturation, of course, for the colors to look a little bit more nicer. I usually don't put it that much, but uh, I'm just gonna show you here a little bit what this can do. Okay, so I had to mess around with those options because this version of the reshade is totally new to me. So this is how it looks without any effects on. And uh, let's put it the effects on again. Very much different. I'm kinda happy with this result. Let's see again. Down there looks like that with the effects on and with the effects off looks pretty horrible <laughs> at least in my eyes let's see this tank for example oh let me pause with the... oh sorry lady there you go tank and me and then with the effects on. Well, it's not magic. Doesn't make game suddenly very, very much better. But at least it's very much more comfortable to look at. Comparison again. And again like that. Yeah, the game hasn't really aged well, as you can see. So it helps a lot if you want to play this game again. I would play with this effect zone. So, okay, hopefully this video helped and uh, yeah.
At least to me, in my eyes, this looks so much more better for the old game, as you can see. There's no really any <laughs> immersion in this picture compared to this one. So hopefully you liked this video and hopefully it helps somehow. If it didn't, too bad. If it did, I'm very glad. So, thanks if you watched. Leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want. Thank you and uh, have a good night or day.